Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is officially June, meaning summertime is finally coming upon us, school is ending, people are graduating. You guys know that I'm going back to New York in a few short weeks to go visit my family and to walk for graduation. It is gonna be so exciting, but the best part of all of it is that summer is finally here. With all that being said, cutting right to the point, if you guys wanna see how I created this skin-focused, dewy, glowy, feathered brows, freckle face, summertime clam. Make sure you keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this dewy makeup look. This look is gonna be super duper easy and very, very quick as well. So this should be a fun video. Sit tight, relax, grab your pink drink, and let's go. <laughs> so to prime my face today, I'm actually gonna be using two different primers. The first one being Benefit Professional, as always, and then the Makeup Forever Step One Base Hydrating Primer. Since this is a very, very dewy look, I do wanna make sure my face is super hydrated and very, very glowy. However, I still have a lot of pores and acne spots, especially in my T-zone area, so I do wanna use the Professional just in that region to kind of clear those pores and to smooth everything out so I have a good base in the nose region so it doesn't look too crusty and gross. So I'm just gonna put this product on right up in here and blend it out. I'm making sure to really massage this into the pores as well to get as smooth of a base as possible. I want all the makeup to go on very, very smoothly and evenly because we aren't gonna be really wearing a lot of makeup in the first place. We wanna make a little bit go a long way, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> I'm next just gonna grab a little bit of the Makeup Forever Primer and I'm gonna prime the rest of my face using this. I never used to use hydrating primers until I moved to California. I used to have really, really oily skin, but I noticed that once I moved here, my skin got very, very dry. So now it's very important for me to moisturize all the time. I'm trying really hard to get into skincare and have like a good routine going because as of right now, I literally have nothing besides washing my face in the shower. I've been very, very blessed to have like decent skin from doing that, but I don't want it to come back and bite me in the ass later on. It's really important to use a hydrating primer to make sure your face is moisturized, hydrated, ready for the day. It's gonna protect it from a lot of oils and a lot of that bacteria stuff. Stuff, and it makes you look dewy and glowy from within as well, which is obviously the goal for today's look. Once my primer is all on, my next step is gonna be foundation, and for the first time in a very, very long time, I am not using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Today, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. In this foundation, I am in the shade Natural Beige. This one matches when I have a spray tan. Right now, it's a little bit too dark, but that's okay. We wanna go for that bronzy look as long as we're not going too, too dark. And once I have a little bit of this on the back of my hand, I'm gonna mix in these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Illuminating Radiance Drops into the foundation. I'm just gonna do like two, oh God, this is going everywhere. I'm just gonna do like two little quick dots and I'm going to blend that together just to add a little bit more glow. Basically, I just wanna keep my natural skin showing through with just a little bit of coverage just to even things out. This is actually the foundation that I was wearing at Coachella this past year and it did wonders for my skin. I actually left my foundation stick home that I normally wear on a daily like makeup basis. So I had to borrow this one from Laura and this is my first time ever using it. So I was super horrified to like try a new foundation, especially on a day like Coachella where there's gonna be thousands and thousands of people there. I was so shook to the freaking core with this foundation. It wore so beautifully all throughout the day. It was obviously super hot and I was very, very sweaty being in the middle of the desert with a million people there. But I felt as if like, as the day went on, even though my face was like melting and I was sweating, the foundation didn't like move around. I feel like as I sweat, I just got dewier and dewier, but everything really, really stayed in place. So I kind of have like fallen in love with this foundation. So I feel like it's a very, very perfect one for the summertime. Like I said, we just want very, very even coverage, but something that's gonna wear all day long and stay very, very radiant. For concealer today, I'm gonna use, of course, my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna use the shade Light Medium Honey, but I'm barely gonna use any of this at all. I'm gonna put like, one or two dollops right under the eyes just to conceal my dark circles right in this inner corner here because I always have a little bit of gray. And then I'm just gonna really lightly cover up some blemishes. I find that the littlest bit of shape tape literally goes the longest way. As you can see, I literally put on like three dollops underneath the eyes, just the tiniest little bit, and it just covered up my dark circles so, so well. We really just wanna do even skin. We don't want it to look like we're actually even like wearing a lot of makeup at all. We just want natural, dewy, beautiful skin. So I'm using the littlest bit of products that are gonna work really, really well together and we're not gonna cake it on. Next, to set my face, I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but I'm actually only gonna set underneath my eyes. 
I'm just gonna grab the slightest bit of translucent powder and just pack it right underneath there just to set that concealer in place. And I'm also gonna pick a little bit of it onto my nose just because my nose region always gets super duper oily no matter what foundation, what weather I'm in. So I just wanna make sure that's locked in place out of everything. But for the rest of my face, I'm really gonna leave it super dewy and on set, which might be horrifying to some of you guys. So definitely feel free to pack anything on if you want to. But I've actually been loving the look of like kind of leaving the foundation there throughout the day, which is horrifying. I know, I never ever in a million years thought I'd be saying that, but I've honestly been loving for the no foundation setting look lately, just like under the eyes and on the nose to make sure everything is locked in place because those are the two areas that are gonna leave us fastest. But other than that, that's it, I guess, for the powder. Whew. For this look, I'm actually gonna skip it on contour completely, so there's gonna be no Kat Von D shade and light palette. I know this is so weird, all the classic James Charles products are currently out the window, but I am gonna go into my Benefit Hula Bronzer and my Sigma F10 powder brush, and I'm just going to lightly bronze my face. Since this look is for summer, we definitely are gonna to wanna to bronze our faces up, and that's why I love Hula Bronzer for this. It is one of my favorite bronzers, and it works for many different skin tones, which is great. I personally cannot stay in the sun for very long because I will literally turn into a tomato, and that is never any fun. That's what I get for being shade mayonnaise, but you know what? We're just gonna fake it till we make it with using bronzer all over our face. I'm not gonna use too much or else it might get a little bit patchy, especially because we didn't set the foundation, but these are the pros and cons that we get with these type of things because then we get this like dewy, beautiful looking skin. So I'm just really, really lightly going on the entire face with this, on the forehead, on the cheekbones, and then in the jawline as well. And then since we didn't actually set the base, we can always go back into the butt end of the beauty blender and just blend over any areas that are like a little bit undefined or looking a little bit unblended. So I'm just gonna go right under this contour here to kind of redefine it out just using the leftover foundation. That's just gonna clean it up and make it look nice and snatched. I'm gonna jump around just a little bit and my next step is gonna be to do some brows. So I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waist in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just going to super lightly fill them in. I'm just gonna grab the spoolie on the end and I'm gonna brush all the hairs upwards. For this look, I'm not gonna go for the very like snatched Instagram brow. I just wanna do super light feathery brows and I'm just gonna give them a tiny bit more shape, basically just on the tail end, just to make it look defined, but not like cut out and on fleek, you know? Like I was saying, when I'm filling these in, I'm barely even touching the pencil to my face. I'm just making the slightest little lines just to add the tiniest bit of color there, just for some more definition, but I don't want it to be like actually like filling them in. Obviously this depends on however your brows are shaped and where your sparse areas are, but for me out in this corner right here, this is my only really like sparse area that I wish I had some more hair. So this is gonna be the one area that I am gonna push the pencil down just a little bit harder to kind of fake it till I make it. But once that is defined and in there, I'm just gonna brush the hairs up using my spoolie and then I'm just going to set them in place because that brow is basically done. That is one brow all complete. I honestly love how that turned out. I did not even use any concealer or foundation underneath it to clean it up. I was just super duper light and precise and this is what we came up with. Now, since we are going for the feathered brow type of look, we definitely wanna make sure these hairs are set in place and they're not gonna like fly away and really want them to stick up to give us that kind of like light and fluffy look. To do that, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara but in the shade Brown. You guys know that the normal black version of this mascara is one of my all time favorites for my regular lashes but I figured why not use the brown one for my brows today. Obviously this is a mascara, but you can use it on whatever you want. The point is that it keeps lashes or hairs in place and very, very voluminous. So I figured this would be the perfect product to use on my brows to really stick those hairs up and lock them in place. I'm just gonna super lightly comb through the hairs. I don't wanna get too much product on there, just basically enough to get those hairs where I want them to be. And that is the feather brow all complete. I love this so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. Now that the brows are all done, we're gonna move on with the eyes. And for this look, I will be doing no eyeshadow whatsoever. All I did was use a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set my eyelids in place to make sure that nothing was like creasing or getting ugly and oily throughout the day. But I definitely do wanna go into just a little bit of mascara, so I'm gonna start off by curling my lashes. I swear to God, I literally used to have the nicest lashes before I wore falsies all the time and now, they're all gone, I don't have any left. It's a very, very sad, sad truth. 
And then for the lashes, once again, I'm gonna go to that brown roller lash mascara. I don't really wanna do black just because I feel like it's a little bit too invasive for this look. Obviously, you can do whatever the hell you want, your face, and not mine. But for me, I just wanna make my lashes look nice and plump, but not too defined. When I'm doing this, I'm just applying the tiniest little bit just to get the lashes evenly coated and to make them stick up and look defined. But like I said, we are not going for that super spidery, clumpy lash today. We just wanna make them look like they're there and not 100% ripped off by our lash glue. I'm also applying a very, very light coat to my bottom lashes as well, being super careful to not get it on my skin and my eyelid because we don't really have a lot of product there to begin with, so any mistakes are gonna be very, very hard to get rid of without taking off all the product, so just be careful, go slow, be patient. That's a word that really is not in my vocabulary that often. <laughs> All right, and that is the eyes all done. Like I said, this look is super duper easy, so let's go ahead and move on. And our next step is going to be blush and a little bit of a surprise with some fake freckles. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M509 brush. Remember, you can use code James for 10% off all Morphe products. And my MAC blush in the shade Peaches. This is my all-time favorite blush. I really don't use a lot of blush on my channel or in my looks, but I really do like this one, and I feel like it's just a very, very natural color for my specific skin tone. I know for lighter shades, you might wanna use a more light pinky tone, and then for darker shades, you might wanna use a more magenta tone. But for me, this tone works very, very well. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a little bit of that on my brush. Make sure to tap the excess off because we don't want a lot by any means. And then we're just gonna add a super light wash of color alongside that bronzer. Next to start off the fake freckles, we're bringing it back everybody. It has been a very, very long time since I've used them in a look, but it is summertime. We're gonna get the glow on, we're gonna get the fake freckles ready. We're gonna look so snatched. <sighs> you guys know that I was rocking fake freckles for so long and it's one of my all time favorite things to add to any cute little makeup look. I just feel like they add so much youth and just beautifulness to any look. What am I saying? Anyways, I'm gonna grab my Morphe R36 brush. I'm gonna dip back into that blush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on the bridge of my nose. This step is obviously totally optional, but we want these freckles to look real as possible. And natural freckles form in the high points of your face where the sun hits the most. And when the sun is hitting a place on your face, that's where you also get sunburn and a little bit of redness as well. So applying the blush here just makes it look a lot more natural. It makes it look like the freckles are actually coming out from underneath your skin. To start with my freckles today, I'm gonna grab my Makeup Forever Brow Pencil, and this one is in the shade 30. I picked this one because it is a little bit of a medium brown, but it does have a little bit of a red undertone. So that's gonna be, oh, why did I think you would be able to see that? <laughs> It does have a little bit of a red undertone, so it'll be the perfect shade for fake freckles. I'm just gonna start off by drawing a bunch of tiny little dots on my nose bridge, and I'm gonna keep them centered right here in the middle of the nose, and then just spread them out the slightest bit right up in this region, and as it gets closer to the cheekbones, I'm gonna kind of fade them out and make them more and more sparse. There is no right or wrong way to apply fake freckles, but the one rule that you wanna follow is not all freckles are created equal. Freckles form naturally on your skin from the sun, and you definitely wanna make sure you're using different pressure and different sizes when you're creating the freckles, because if you have like six dots just across your face that are all the exact same shape and size, it's gonna look really, really fake. If you wanna add fake freckles to a look, this is one of my literally all-time favorite things to do. If you're not really confident in it, just Google a picture of somebody with freckles and then just look at that when you're drawing them on, just to kind of base off them and see where the freckles should go, how they're shaped, where they're most concentrated, the color of them, etc., etc., etc. If you have any pimples or spots too that you want covered, just take your brow pencil and lightly go over and turn it into a fake freckle as well. Once those freckles are all placed on there, I'm gonna go back into my beauty blender on the button and I'm just going to really lightly tap over them just to make them kind of melt in the face and not look too pigmented. Basically, whatever foundation is left on this is gonna tap right over the freckles and that's just gonna create one extra super, super thin layer on top of them, which will make them look more real and kind of right underneath the skin, just how like normal freckles would look. Obviously, the biggest part to dewy skin is going to be the glow. To start it off today, I'm gonna to grow into my Benefit What's Up Highlighting Stick in my Damp Mini Beauty Blender. I really do not use cream highlighters that often, but because we didn't fully set this foundation, it is a little bit still wet, so I don't wanna go to the full-on powder highlighter because it might get a little bit clumpy and stick to some of those wet areas. Using a cream will really enforce that we get a natural glow from within first, then we can lay over top with the littlest bit of powder just to really enhance it so that way it won't look too patchy and gross. I'm just gonna tap this button right onto the tip of the product and then just go right onto my skin. I'm focusing this product right on the tops of the cheekbones and then I'm just gonna bring this up into a little bit of a C shape, right up to the top of the brow bone area where the natural highlights would form, on the top of the brow bone, and then just connect this right back down. Same thing on the other side, I'm focusing this on the top of my cheekbone and then I'm just gonna bring it right up to the eyebrow bone up here on the forehead just to get that natural glow. Then bring it right back down in the C shape, 
going on the top of the brow bone and then right back down to the cheekbone. I'm not sure how this glow is showing up on camera, but, oh, you can see it. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, it's just like the most beautiful, natural, like subtle glowing from within type of highlight. I am gonna layer over top of this with powder in just a quick second, like I was saying, but going into this cream base first, just really makes it look like natural, just like you moisturize to hell and back, but in like literally the best possible way. I'm gonna grab the pointy end of the Beauty Blender as well, and I'm just going to tap a little bit on there, and I'm gonna use this for the bridge of my nose. I'm also gonna pop the littlest bit of this right onto the Cupid's bow. All right, you can honestly totally stop here with this glow. It looks so beautiful, just like this. Very, very natural and radiant, but y'all know me, we need to be blinding people left and right, especially in that summer sun. So I'm just gonna go a little bit one step further and I'm gonna use the Anastasia Illuminator in the shade So Hollywood with my Morphe M501 brush and just add the littlest bit of extra glow. Oh yes, wow. Yes, 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 that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, yes. For the nose region, I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and the same exact highlighter. We did not do any nose contouring at all, so Lord knows this is our last and final chance to make it look even somewhat snatched. All right, and that is the makeup all complete. Like I said, I told you guys it'd be super duper easy. To finish this off, I'm going to set my face using some MAC Fix Plus. I really want the tiniest bit of powder that we did use to really melt in, just make everything super, super dewy and glowy. And then as a final step, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Oil De-Slick Setting Spray. Just make sure it is locked in place. Because it is cream, it definitely will slip around if we don't lock it in place, so we're all set. All right guys, and that is the dewy makeup look all complete. I know I say this in every single video, but I really, really love how this turned out. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but um, toot toot because I feel so beyond beautiful right now. I definitely will be rocking this look all throughout summertime and I hope you guys will too. If you're trying out this look or any of these combinations or products, definitely let me know, tweet me pictures, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see all your beautiful, dewy, glowing skin. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. I post two videos a week on Mondays and Fridays and I'd love to have you join the sisterhood. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles the next ass after Charles. Major shout out to Sister Mac for retweeting my last video link on Twitter when it went live. I'll be doing this in all my videos from now on, giving one of you sisters a shout out for always supporting and sharing my videos. So yeah, definitely follow me on Twitter if you want a chance to be featured. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.